would like to start? Who has something to say? Robin, go ahead. I'm shocked that you are saying the things that you're saying right now, and you're being so sweet, and you're being so innocent, and it's, you're delusional. I remember the second day saying to Ashley, this girl doesn't like me, and then watching it back, seeing Tierra say, you know, if I have to be fake at this point, I'll be fake. You know, she was not there to be apologetic, to be friends, anything. She was there to be fake, to show Sean a good face, and that's it. Because they weren't accepting me just being, my, being by myself. I and what did I, I told all the girls. I said, if she doesn't want to be your friend, back off, leave her alone. And up until Canada, you were still so rude to me. I came to you that morning, do you remember? And I was like, good morning, Tiara. You walked right away from me. You gave me a dirty look and walked away. And that was the turning point for me because I was like, I cannot keep protecting this girl and telling all these girls, this is how she deals with life. And then you are being rude to me as well. I, I, there comes a point where we had to give up. We you, can't just continue to be friends. Do you remember, that, do you remember that moment when she said hello to you? I and... don't. I honestly don't remember. I can't remember everything that happened. But, but, but well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Things like I, but but less... things like that, did that happen? Like when she says, hi, good morning, Tiara, how you doing? And you just give her the stink eye and walk by. But like, the did... thing is, is I don't go, ooh, stink eye and walk by. Like, right, it's but, not but, like... Okay, but if I said, hey, Tiara, good morning, like, hey, Chris, morning. There was... No. Like, uh, no, I'm asking, okay. like, did that happen? There was... I don't, I can tell you, like, I honestly can't tell you what every day happened in the house. But, like, you remember Selma trying to help you? Yes, of course Selma helped me in L.A. We talked many times. She helped me even in Montana. But there was also times, too, where Selma would go off with someone else and make me feel like they were talking That's about... That's an assumption, though. You always saw us together because we're all friends, so we talk a lot, but you... But you pers- always thought we were talking about you. Was- and that was the problem, is you always thought that we were against you from the very beginning, and nobody was against you. No one cared. No one wanted to put the effort okay, in being against you. Okay, but saying that I wasn't you. friendly, I think that's not... That, I think that's taking it to the extreme, because there's times, like... Leslie was getting ready for your date, and I was upstairs. I was the only girl upstairs with you who was helping you pick out your outfit. That that was the only time you actually spoke to me, though, that moment. And I feel like you didn't want to go downstairs because no one else wanted to talk to you. I try talking to you every morning, say hi, same thing. You would do the stink eye. I think a lot of people did. Back in Montana, I walked out of my room and said, good morning, hello, and like it was nothing. I wish that you would just stand in your conviction. You made it clear that you didn't want to be friends. You made it clear that, you know, you didn't like any of the women in the house. So don't try to make it seem like you're this innocent person. You set the tone. I think it was beyond you just getting the first rose. It was everything that you did leading up to the time that you let you were let go from the show. It really wasn't so much them as much as it was you. It wasn't, I was friendly. It's not like I walked around the house and I was this complete devil. It wasn't that way. Maybe you weren't unfriendly, but you weren't friendly. No, not at all. So you can't say I was friendly. And you said over and over again, I don't care, I'm not here to make friends. So that's... You need to pick your words wisely. Like, you can't just say I was friendly. You weren't. Okay, so for me, I was focusing on Sean and I's connection, not all the girls' connection and my with Sean. And I never made it a topic to Sean of, okay, this is what's going on in the house. Like, Ashley kept pinpointing and poking and poking. And when are you going to say... No, no more. I'm going to stand up for myself. Right. When I confronted Ashley, I, I, I asked you, I said, I wanted to just talk to you about something. This is heavy on my chest, and I wanted to bring it to your attention. And we sat down. And I said, did you tell, did, have, did you tell Sean anything about me? And you said no. You lied straight to my face. No, you said, so, you said, is there anything you have to say to me? I go, no, because I didn't. I no. had nothing to say to you. That's what was said. So let's not wishy-washy. I mean, we all watched the episode. That's what was said. Sean asked me, how's the drama in the house? And I go, nope. Specifics. What do you want to know? And then that's when he said, okay, I need to know about Tiara. That's when I told him. Did you feel like you bullied her? No. But I take great offense to you sitting here calling me a liar. I take great offense to that, Tiara. And that's not nice of you. Again, 
that just goes to show what I was trying to explain to you all season. It's your character. You can't just bash on people like that. We watched the show. Clearly, that's not what happened. And that's not fair for you to straight call me a liar to my face. I am not calling you a liar, Ashley. I said yes. you lied to me about no. answering how I asked you. That's the same thing. You call me it's... a liar. You said I okay, lied. It's the Ashley. same thing. <laughs> Once again, no matter what I say, it's always wrong. It's the wrong word to use to you. And that's the thing is, I can say she ganged up on me in St. Croix, because she did. She did gang up on me. But you came to her in St. Croix, and, and you confronted her. I understand that, but what yeah, I'm so saying she is, that's not me ganging so she up didn't on bully you. you or gang up on you. I, you came to her. It's not. Everything I'm saying, this is my point, is look it. I just, I'm just making an example, not saying that's the word I'm using. I'm saying, I'm going to say ganged up. It's wrong. Leslie, you were there in St. Croix, mm -hmm. uh, had a front row seat, unlike anybody sure else, you and Catherine. <laughs> um, was Ashley tough on Tierra? Was she a bit of a bully? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say bully. I really wouldn't. Um, you know, I think Tierra made her own bed, her own cot, what have you. And um, <laughs> no, I think I think she was tough, but I think somebody had to be. At the end of the day, you really do need to be careful with what you say, and you need to not point fingers at other people and say they did this to me when that that's not the truth. You can't. You can only use that excuse so much. All I can say is I apologize to all of you guys for you guys thinking that I didn't want to talk to you or I wasn't trying to be friendly or I wasn't trying to be friends with you. Like, can I better myself? Absolutely. I think everybody can better themselves in life. Can I work on my, my, my flaws? Yes. But once again, like, I think I came into this just really scared, and I didn't really know how to handle it, and I handled it, I guess, in a bad way, and I apologize.